From the preliminary, I have found that it is important to research the audience in which I was aiming to attract and address. For the preliminary, I didn't have much knowledge as to what content was needed for it, apart from knowing the general basis of what college magazines should have. For my full media product, I had to create a questionnaire that would help me to decide what are the most popular conventions on a music magazine cover, contents page and double page spread. By getting the feedback from the questionnaire, it allowed me to be able to see what the, would be the best to put on my music magazine pages, so it, that it would be interesting for the audience and be conventional. Once I had 30 results, I could collate all the results into a graph and pick out what I should use for my music magazine. Another form of research for my music magazine was the marketplace. This was to help me decide on the frequency of publication, reasonable price, issue size and the regular and feature content. At the start we first looked at the preliminary. The only things we mostly knew were the codes and conventions and where they should be on the magazine. After the preliminary we learned more in depth about the specific codes and conventions that had to be put onto my media products for it to be, to be and look conventional and visually striking to attract the target audience. By researching about the codes and conventions it allows my final music magazine product to be a lot better than the preliminary task. From the preliminary, the codes and conventions were used for the college magazine, however they were not created to look professional and we had to learn by looking at the finished preliminary pages and know what we had to do to change the conventions and make them look interesting and look like an established magazine. When it comes to planning I have learned from the preliminary that some plans can change, however once I felt more confident on the different programmes I could adapt my knowledge and use my plans to create the front cover contents page and the double page spread. From the preliminary I have learned that it is important to make detailed sketches as it helps you to be able to see what you are aiming to create. By planning the photos I had to make sure that they had the correct mise-en-scene and also that they conveyed the specific genre. On my preliminary task, the background behind the model in the image was irrelevant and didn't look interesting. When I look back on this, I had to know that for my music magazine, the backgrounds for the images had to relate to the genre of music, which was indie rock. From the preliminary, I didn't use any props, which didn't suggest any college connotations. For the planning process on both magazines, I have learned that it is extremely important to plan everything in detail and stick to it as much as possible, because when it comes to the final product, you have to discuss how conventional the magazine pages are. The preliminary had to be bad so that we could learn from our mistakes and know to apply more and be strictly conventional and presenting interesting features for the magazine pages and because we are targeting a specific audience. The plans allow us to vi see visually how the magazine page will look when it is all put together which helps guide us through the production period. The preliminary had to be bad so that we could learn from our mistakes and know to apply more and be strictly conventional and presenting interesting features for the magazine pages and because we are targeting a specific audience. The plans allow us to vi see visually how the magazine page will look when it is all put together which helps guide us through the production period. For the photography first from the preliminary, they were not best quality. The focus was bad and the image for the front cover was stretched, but after getting used to the camera with using manual focus, the images were better quality. The, the images had to be striking and I know no more than I did from the start of the preliminary task that lighting and setting is key to a conventional and striking image. From the preliminary task, not a lot of cover lines were needed along with the article information and for the music magazine, over 20 feature articles and article information was needed in order to fill up the gaps on the page so it would be conventional. An article for the double page spread was needed that had to fit into three columns and be quite detailed from the band interview. On the preliminary, a double page spread didn't need to be made, so we had to go off our knowledge and research from the codes and conventions of a double page spread. When it came to digital image manipulation, I had to play about with the image so that it fitted the page on Photoshop and from the preliminary task I had stretched the image. I knew from past experience on the preliminary that some parts of the background were not necessary, so for my music magazine I cropped out some of the background as it reduced the image's striking nature. 
From the preliminary, the main image was definitely not visually striking, which is its main purpose along with engaging the audience. However, when I look back at the preliminary, I knew that I couldn't have an overstretched image. I applied this knowledge and made sure on my second attempt of getting images for the front cover, the background had to be right. When I chose my main image for the front cover, I had chosen one where the bottom of the image was showing carpet, which wasn't supposed to be part of the background. So I had to crop it out and then make the image bigger on Photoshop so that the model stood out more. For the contents page images, not much had to be done apart from having to size them in order for them to fit into the space in between the guides. For the double page spread, the image manipulation was to change the colour from normal to black and white as the image looked grainy and as the lighting and movement reduced the resolution of the image. By adjusting the image colour, it made the image look less grainy. My design skills from the preliminary task has changed as I know more through my research and planning. My main image had to be central and very striking. The cover lines had to stand out and be bold, but not touch the main image's face. The barcode should be small and at the bottom with the issue information to be conventional. The method had to be unique and eye-catching. The positioning statement had to relate to the purpose of the magazine and place the magazine within the market. Article information has to be short but informative. The main cover line has to relate to the main image and be visually eye-catching. I took all these into consideration in order to create a conventional front cover, contents page and double page spread. From the preliminary, you can see on the front cover that it isn't conventional, the colours don't work, the image isn't very striking and it wouldn't attract the target audience. The same applies for the contents page, there's too many gaps, it's very plain and the pictures are just very standard. This wouldn't be conventional and it wouldn't attract a target audience that is intended. By looking back at the preliminary task you can clearly see that I have become more confident with using the different technologies to make my final media product.